everybody. Listen, listen, listen. This is where my story starts. I'm born and raised South Philly. Born and raised South Philly. I grew up in the Martin Luther King Plaza at 13th and Fitzwater. Those of you on the outside called it the projects. So check it, my real name is Mr. M-I-S-T-E-R. On the birth certificate, right? So living in the projects, we had this really, really popular movie that all of the black people know, like the back of their hands, it's called The Color Purple. And the most evil character in the world, it's like the black people version of like Hitler. Danny Glover's characters, Mr. M-I-S-T-E-R. So everywhere, you know, I've been since I've been about 10 years old, Mr. Mr. like the color purple. Ah! And you know, in the beginning, I used to play it off and go, that's the first time I heard that. You're the first person to say, Mr. like the color purple. So you know, fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, everywhere I go, traveling to North Philly, Center City, I ran in West Oak Lane for the Oak Lane Wildcats, first day of track, Mr. like the color purple. So it's a reoccurring theme. Throughout my life, I felt like, you know, like, wow, like I really should have been in that movie. Some kind of way, they should have worked me in that movie, right? So I get to Penn State, I went to Penn State, and I get to Penn, y'all know Penn State is a lot of white people, right? Just white for no reason white. 40,000, I don't think y'all understand the whiteness, like it's Happy Valley, it's freezing cold white. So when I get there as a freshman, the whole thing with the white people, it's like, oh, your name is Mr. Oh, the kids are gonna call you Mr. Mr. some new shit, the white people. The white people don't know about color purple. So it's like eight semesters of Mr. Mr. <laughs> so eight semesters, four years later, I had to play it off too, like, oh my God, it's the first time I'm hearing that, like Mr. Mr., that is so clever. So fast forward, you know, I graduated Penn State. I became a journalist, I worked for the Daily News, I interviewed a lot of people, the Martha Stewart's and Arnold Schwarzenegger's and Will Smith's, all of these people, but I, I never met the cast of The Color Purple, you know what I mean? It's like such a defining part of my life, and I said, you know what, I'm a really, really big Whoopi Goldberg fan, and I said, I can't wait to meet her because I have a million and one M-I-S-T-E-R mister, because her character was silly, I know the white people looking, and y'all gotta go home and DVD it and look it up. We, like, Oprah Winfrey was a big deal to us before y'all got to it. <laughs> so I'm in New York and I'm on assignment, you know, I went up there to cover, like, the album release party with one of my friends, another reporter. So I'm walking down the street, we're in Times Square, a whole bunch of people are gathering, and it's like all this confusion in Times Square. So I walk up, you know, I'm just like, what's going on? And I kind of, like, push my way through the crowd, and I'm looking through this, like, glass, and I'm like, Whoopi Goldberg, oh shit, game on. This is it, this is all these color purple, oh this is, I got some shit for you Whoopi, I gotta get in. And this is way before the view, like I was a big fan. And I said, I gotta get in, I gotta make this happen. So I just went into groupie fucking panic mode. And I'm just like, look, and she's standing there talking to this woman, this real bougie white woman with the pearls and all of that. And you know, they're talking and I just said, what's going, I need to get the Whoopi, I gotta get the Whoopi. And I, I like kind of walk around, you know, the security guard, he's real yokes. He's like in NFL linebacker standing there like with the whole Secret Service thing going like, no. I said, I don't think you understand. You're not stopping me from getting whoopy. <laughs> we go way back and she don't even know it. <laughs> so he's standing there and he said, no, this is VIP only. This is VIP, you know, top of the, VIP? You think that's going to stop me? So I said, okay. So I act like I didn't care. Called myself doing some kind of like step fake move to like get around him. I had a messenger bag on and I got around him, but he grabbed the bag. So now he's like jerking me back. My homie's looking like, what are you doing? Like you just fucking embarrassed. This is he's mortified, like, yo. So he's jerking me back. I'm like struggling with him. I could not beat this dude, and I know it. But you know, I'm a little embarrassed at this point. So I said, no, no, no. I said, you don't understand. I said, I know what? If I get her attention. Whoopi, like we, she's gonna know, like come out here and help me. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, like I'm like standing in the doorway, like waving. So the bougie lady kind of turns around and she's like clutching. And she's like, like just acting a whole damn fool, like you know, a whole groupie fool. And I'm like, whoa, come on, like whoa, 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 like whoa, whoa, come on. This man is Mr. M I S T E R, Mr. Color Purple. And I'm standing there and I'm just acting a whole fool. And it occurs to me, I'm in front of the Madame Tussauds Wax Museum. <laughs> Wax 
sex will be. I said, Jesus Christ. I'm yoked up, he has the bag. And I said, you know what, get off me. I'm good, I'm good. I'm good.